What's up guys and welcome back to another episode of Max Set from AGS. We're finally back in the Max gear after peaking like a staff of dead yesterday. If you want to go check out the video, there's a link to it in the description. Now the last time we were in this gear, Rot full TB'd us and almost killed us and smited us for about 170 mil. So I'm a little bit scared of how this is going to go. Uh, the first thing we actually need to do is go buy a rune pouch for about 1.2 mil. Because I am not wasting inventory spaces having three runes, so we can have like two extra brews. Then we're going to go out deep bulletin us, hopefully get some nice kills, maybe get some good loots. Honestly, I don't even care about the loots, I just don't want to die, and I don't want to die to a team. Let's see how it goes, let's go get that rune pouch and see our risk. If you guys do enjoy this video, hit that like button, subscribe if you are new, and I'll see you guys later. This is just an overlook of the gear, we did get our imbued cape and our imbued ring back. And, uh, yeah, it's some very nice gear. Let's see how this goes. Right, and if you're wondering how much we are risking today, if we do get smited by a team, 183 mil to lose. And with Protect Item on, we're protecting the Armadale Chestplate, 137 mil to lose. One AGS G Mall is all it takes, and we're dead. Level 103 and Enchanted. Come on, catch a freeze. There we go. Is he AFK? Oh, you just wanted to bait my AGS spec, bro. I hate it when people do that, dude. I think they're AFK, so I rush my spec right from the beginning. But they just use it to, like, bait my first spec so they can get away easier. Cheeky little buggers. He's not going to take off Prey Melee, isn't he? He's just way too scared. Alright, I think he might be brewed down here, so a freeze might actually do some damage. Or it could also just hit a 6. That works, too. I think he's unfrozen after this barrage. Is he just not going to move? I feel like he's been unfrozen for a little bit now. I might have refrozen him, in fact. What is he doing? I'm lost. I'm lost. Is he just going to sit there and take it? Okay, he's pulled out his range. He's going to fight back. Interesting. He's just going to camp prey melee, though. So my bolts... He's also a med level. So he has no defense to, like, protect him from my bolts. He just has his spirit shield and his black dehyde. Which, to be fair, is somewhat, you know, good defensive bonuses, I guess. But he's literally not going to take that prey melee off. He's just way too scared of this AGS. It's like, whatever. Okay, dude. If, you, if that's how you want to play, you can play like that. Catch a freeze there. I don't really want to take any damage back. Catch a freeze. There we go, nice. Put a bolt in. What's he doing? This is like, he's not switching to mage. He's not changing his prayers. He just sits there and uh, prays melee. Oh, he's actually changed, okay, he changed the prayer range, but I'm pretty sure he's gonna just want me to bait my, bait my spec. Hey, Jessam, dead? 65? I'm gonna go for a bolt, maybe it could kill him. He's just died to the ball after praying melee the whole fight. He switches it once. What? Oh, this is a bait, I think. He had a dark bow. I just got a dark bow PK. Usually baits use dark bows. It looks very newbie, but he just can't pray melee the whole fight. And then he just dies as soon as he takes it off because I spec him at 65 and then fucking ACB his face off. Let's pick that all up and get out of here. Good fight, dude. Jesus. Oh my god, it actually was a bait. And yeah, it turns out this I was at right about my instincts, and this was actually the team called Unique. I think they've like closed before, and uh, they just reopened recently, I don't know. They're out in like proper max, like arcanes and everything, and they had people come and skim TB me and stuff. And yeah, that was pretty obvious, that was a bait. Obviously he had a Debo, and he was camping pre melee just so he wouldn't die, but he could also lower my food. But obviously he was just getting worked by all my other hits, that he, he changed his prayers for one split second, hit him at 65, and killed him right after that. I'm actually surprised they log in. I log, they logged in after I killed this bait because I basically have an unlimited supply of brews right now. Obviously, I I knew that, so I kind of wanted to keep the loot as well. What I should have done is what and look at that. That guy just stops spec and says specking me with whatever it is. So obviously, I put in a little lull. What I should have done is honestly just dropped the loot and picked up brews because you know, 400k isn't worth losing 150 mil. But I was fairly certain I could get out, and I didn't even know if they were gonna try TB me. There you can see the first guy tries to skim me. His skim splashes. Then another T-Bear logs in right there, and he, like, I don't know what takes him so long. He just walks around. He whacks me with a D-Skim, and uh, by the time he does skim spec me, I can already start running again. He splashes that TB anyway, so I was pretty much out at that point with all these brews. If I, if I didn't kill that bait, and I kept fighting him, they probably would have lowered me down and potentially killed me, but their bait just wasn't good enough, I guess. Okay, we should be out here. Dude, I actually just got baited. Oh my god, that actually just kind of scared me a little. But thank god I killed the bait, dude. Thank god I killed the bait when I did. That was actually scary. Like, that was a proper team. They were all in arms and everything. They were set up. But I managed to get out of that. I don't know what team that was, but I just profited from them as well. Debo, Enchanted. One mil. 
or 1.1 mil, good fight. Oh my god, should I fly into multi? I feel like I really shouldn't. That'd be a very stupid idea, what do you guys think? I know, you know, you're already watching the video, so you really don't have an opinion. 57? Should I just walk back in? To be fair, it is World 18, they can't beat Jamie. Okay, 47 for the KO. What's going on here? Two Venezuelans are having a go at each other. Uh... Doesn't look like there's much loot. Who's legit, Salad of the Warrior, Addy. Oh well. We're just trying to get kills right now. Not really looking for the loot. Good fight. Level 106. What is he doing? He's sitting on 0 HP. What? What? Rip, good fight. What? Okay. I don't mind if I do. What the fuck was that? Okay, the loot's showing up. Ancient stuff, Mystic Robe Top. Spirit shield. Jesus. Uh, did he have any ring? He didn't. Coins. I'm so confused as to what happened. Maybe I could have smited him. I really don't know. Let's drop the breast of these brews. Dragon dagger. Dragon javelin. Uh, he only had nine dragon javelins. That's probably not worth it. Bolts. Why did he have javelins and bolts? I'm confused. He probably just got a kill, actually. Alright. Let's get out of here before we get hit by a team. Fuck it, let's just press check it while we're here. Two Ancient Stoss, I think he just got a kill because there's two DDSs as well, like a couple Glories. 625k loot, good fight, man. He got one hit. Okay, this guy just, this pure just called me for help again. Can I catch a freeze on him? It's a main. Is he smited right now? Oh, I double-clicked his prayers. Is he just putting up his retribution? He didn't want to die. Wait, I don't know what I'm going to do. Your mom's a whore. Oh, fuck. He tried pulling a quick one on me. I was going to try and box him to smite him down. Oh, he just, did he just get smited? Or did he just take down his prayers? Look, helmet needs not dragon so no staff of dead. I honestly thought he got smited. He had a combat bracelet, bro. He was a big noob. What do you, I, I think he was trying to suicide to me because did he have any restores left? No, he had no restores left, dude. I could have smited him for his toxic staff. You see, he had brews, but he didn't drink them because he could have got smited. So that's why I was going to brew down and box him. But then he tried running. I could have got a toxic staff if I just played that a little smarter. Damn. Rip, dude. Oh, no, I'm on him. I'm on him. I'm on him. Finally. I, I think he skipped him, so I should be able to get out of him now. Let's check out the smite. Nice. I was just going for an HS. Into the Gmo. Oh my god, the Gmo hit a zero. The Gmo hit a zero. Just kill him with the bolts. Whack him dead. Whack him dead. 45. I think I'll go in for another bolt. Uh, and there's when we hit the zero. He just drank a restore as well, because he was getting smited for his claws. Put in a bolt. I think he's dead here. Is he? Come on, take off the helm. Catch this freeze. Is that a refreeze? Come on, barrages. Let's stack him out, barrages. 14. Oh, he got that prayer right. Fair enough. Let's fake it AGS here. He's gonna pray melee, right? And we still hit a zero, dude. That's RNG for you, though. That is RNG for you. I think he's gonna be unfrozen soon. One, two, three, four. Cash us refreeze. Nice. Put a bolt in. Let's just DD under him right now. Fake it AGS. Dude, he was, I could have smited him for claws. I think if I just hit a little bit harder when he was... Is he really dropping his granite shield, dude? That's kind of fucked up. I'm not going to lie. I'm going to see if this guy will give me the granite shield. Good fight, dude. We fucked that guy's up. Oh, we got an emblem off him as well. Can I get that shield, dog? Bro, the guy actually gave me the shield. 33k. TY, bro. Alright, let's pick up everything. Alright, I helped the viewer out. Took 33k off a of viewer. Mysterious Emblem, all this, a GMO of our own, 32k, 300k off the side was warrior, good fight, man. Let's see if we can get on this guy, he just killed his target, I think, it was like some, uh, Venezuelan, going to rev caves. I think we can kill him if we can, let's just pot up. He's got like an Aram's hood, he's got the Mage Cape too, he has TBs as well. So, if I just smite him, no TY, please? Uh, that's not really how Wilderness works, dude, I'm sorry to say it. Can I get some big bolts on him, please? Like, I'm just sitting here. And I'm just hitting zeros, and he's in like no defensive gear. Can I just whack him? Like I actually can't hit on this guy. He's a tank. He has no defensive gear whatsoever. Zero. And I'm just hitting zeros on him. Come on. 34 there. Nice. Let's go for the AGS here. Uh, that wasn't big enough to want to go in for the GMO. Hopefully this this guy doesn't get him as a target, and they realize, because then he could probably save him. Let's go for an AGS dead. 47. If he if he boxes him now, bro, I'm gonna I'm gonna have a fit. Good fight. I think he's risking quite a bit as well. He's like kill up here killing his target. Uh, Mysterious Emblem again. Some more Mystics. 100 Dragon Bolts E. Doesn't look like he had Barrows of Wells because only 69k cash. 
Good fight, dude. He even had myth seeds, bro. He was prepared for anything. Alright, let's get a price check of that mystics and shit we got. Mysterious emblems, man. That's why I love World 19. That's a free 123k. Don't mind if I do. 470, 470k off that guy. Good fight, man. The salad robes warriors everywhere I go. I'm just gonna want to hit this guy, honestly. I put on, uh... Uh, what's it called? Eagle Eye instead of Heidi, because I'm legitimately slow in the brain. Let's put in another bolt. Please give me a big one. I'm actually going to take off the DFS. Off? Uh, no. I don't want to off. At all. Literally 0% of me wants to off you right now. And you're dead. Good fight. And, uh, let's see what we got off him. Just like a glory and shit, but we're killing everyone right now. <gasps> what is this? I just used all my specs. So, there's no way I'm going to kill this crystal shield guy if he just runs. He put in an U as I attacked him. It's not very nice. You can whack him. If we had spec, I might have actually killed him right there. But I just wasted a spec on some Iron Man doing a cool. Does this guy have myth gloves on him? There's no way this guy actually has myth gloves on him. Let's catch a freeze. There we go, nice. Put a ball. He just died to a barrage! Ha! This guy actually just died to a barrage! What the fuck? I just wasted my specs on that Iron Man doing his clue. And I saw this guy come along. Did he just lose his crystal shield? Please tell me he did, or maybe it was his plus one. That's actually mad funny. I just killed this guy with a barrage. Alright, don't mind if I do. He's probably one of the newbiest PKers I've ever seen. He even threw an U at me when I killed him. Alright, let's pick this all up. Alright, let's get a quick price here, because I don't think I'm going to get hit here. The bracelet's 50k, so it's what, like a 200k loot of a guy who just died to a barrage. Okay, so the commentary for this clip actually like went really weird, and I sound like really, like, I don't know, just like a really deep, weird voice, so I'm just going to commentate over it. Anyway, I had a target up in World 19, and I killed him, and I actually got an emblem, which is like 130k. Then this guy actually asked if he uh, wanted to fight me. And I recognize his name from my welfare stream, like my welfare stream, like a week ago, where he's calling out all my viewers, saying he could kill any one of them, something like that. So I don't know. I don't know if he was trolling or if he was just like a little cocky. Anyway, I tried going in for spec there, but I do realize I'm frozen. I get a nice bolt off there. He runs into me. Boom. 73 AGS for the KO. He gets his prey melee on a little bit too late. Hit him with the Bodhi number. Some D shoes, Sears ring loot, a lot of Mystics. A pretty nice kill. And uh, yeah, good fight to that guy, the B-Ring AGS coming in clutch for such a nice hit right there. Good fight, man. And a quick price check on it. D-Shoes have actually gone up to like 300k. The Emblem added up there in, as well with the Mystic. There's like a 1.5 mil loot. 1.5 mil, I mean loot. Good fight, man. So what I thought I would do is, with the Magic Cape, you can actually switch spellbooks five times a day. So I thought I'd go up and just kill people at Chins like five times and uh, just use my uh, spellbook swap on that. Because it's basically free money if I find someone. And I hop into this world. It's a non plus one world, and this guy, I don't know, he thinks he's Torvesta or something. He's D Claw rushing Chin Hunters. And this is a non plus one world. He's risking his claws. I see him pray mage, so I can't go in for the full TB. So what I do is, at first, I hit him with an AGS spec. And then right after that, I uh, hit him one more time, so he camps that prey melee. And then I actually get a full TB on this guy. Now, this guy is only in, uh, what's it called? Like Ballista, Claws. He probably has 16 Bruce, so I didn't even think I was going to kill him. But uh, he says good luck, so like I think he's like really confident he's gonna tank this out because like he has five minutes, probably has 16 brews. It's just against one person. My invent sort of isn't uh, meant for people who fight back, but I just couldn't help it. This guy was risking claws. He had a serpent on helm, full carols. He was risking so much if I killed him. I'm so lost as to what's happening right now. All I know is this guy has Venge and could probably stack me out. I also know he's risking Claws. I also know I've full TB'd him, but I don't know if that's going to be enough to kill him on how many, how many ever brews he has. Let's go for an AGS there. 75, Jesus Christ. That is a big fucking hit if I've ever seen one. Let's take off the helm. He probably is packing like 16 brews because all he has is claws and the ballista. So he has like a limited bruise. So I don't even know if I'll be able to kill him. Especially on this inventory. I barely have any restores. There's a nice 40 whip. I'm going to pick up those restores. He's getting comboed out right now. He's actually getting comboed out. Uh, super combat. I almost have another spec as well. <gasps> He's getting comboed out. I could actually kill this guy for claws. Like, genuinely, I could kill him. Let's fake you the AGS there again. Okay, I'm gonna go for a whip hit there. Let's take off the helm. I could actually kill this guy for claws. I'm not even joking. 
AGS him out. AGS him out. Oh my god. No, 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 no. Why am I hitting the Chinchompa? Freeze him. Freeze him. Freeze him. I actually just could have killed him for claws right there. Genuinely, I could have killed him for claws. He probably has like a minute left on his TB. I don't think I'm going to get this. He has so much food. I genuinely could have just killed this guy for claws. Oh my god. That was so unlucky right there. And that's where it all goes wrong. I didn't I didn't know this guy was here. If I did, I would have brought myth seeds or I would have been more careful and not let him get so close to me unless he was frozen. But he ZGS'd me and walked under me and because it's a PvP world, I don't even know if that pure could have PJ'd him. Anyway, he ZGS'd me and walked under me. I didn't have myth seeds. He was out. I could have got him so many times right there for over 100 mil because D-Claws are pretty expensive and I don't know what else he was wearing. Probably had a B-ring and everything. Uh, if I called a friend, if I did, if I brought him a seed there, I could have got that kill, but it's whatever. Uh, he got away. I'm actually so disappointed. My age, my second AGS, my last AGS could have killed that guy. He was risking claws, a ZGS. Oh my goodness, dude. He would have died, I think, on the full, but that AGS should have killed him. I'm actually really disappointed. Two big barrages would have made him pray mage, I guess not. Pray mage catch a freeze? He really just tried mage caping me. Okay, I'm halved. Am I gonna get killed on a half? Is he having anyone log in? I have so many brews right now. Oh shit. He actually just half TB'd me. And the whole team just logged in. It's an Aussie team. Oh, that's cute. <laughs> oh, it's Aussie Unity. They just half me when I have 10 brews. Okay. Well, this is funny. I guess we can do a little commentation of uh, us tanking this. Because they literally just... I have 10 fucking brews. And they're letting a demon hit me. Alright, so here we have the 107 hitting the demon. This man's in max. He got hit off. Let's go down the ladder. What's going on now? Let's just brew up to full. Look at them. It's so cute. It is so cute. I can just run around. Did they actually try Mage Cave baiting me? Look at them. They got everyone in max and everything. I literally have one, two, three. Oh shit, they actually just threw a debo at me. That's kind of scary, huh? That is kind of scary. Alright, I'm getting clawed now. Okay, let me think. I have one, two, three. I have five brews, six, seven, eight, nine. Jesus Christ, man. They got a guy in Mystics focusing me. That is not the smartest play you want to do when you have someone in, you know? When you have all these guys at max. You don't want some guy in, fuck. He BGS'd me. Oh, he has a bludgeon as well. He has a bludgeon. Bro, and, and they've just, a <laughs> lot. And they just let me get a box. You guys really just let me get a box with 30 people. So a team of about 15 to 20 people decide to try and bait me. I guess they scouted me or whatever. That guy, the 120 who was originally fighting, actually said he just wanted a 1v1 fight with me. So I was down for it because I don't really get those. Then he tries Mage Cape TBing me. Now you could see they have more than enough people to kill me if they got a full. But I don't know, they're just, they look like a really unorganized team. People that shouldn't be in max, I guess. First of all, they only had one TBer by the looks of it. The guy Mage Cape TBing me and I was working him. So I guess he had to throw it that early. Because I'm pretty sure I could have tanked a full on 10 brews either way. They're meant to like bait you down a lot lower. Second of all, they basically let me run all the way inside KVD gate. I probably could have got I probably could have logged out, but I wasn't really that scared because I had 10 brews and two and a half minutes of tank. So I would have been fine regardless. But they had no one freeze me until like I got into the gate. They had no max majors logged in already. They had no one waiting. They just let me completely run. The guy who mage cape uh mage cape me on the TB was already on Ancients, but he didn't freeze me first. So like he he threw the TB when I was unfrozen, so I could basically run right from the beginning and you know they probably could have got me if they're more organized and knew what they're doing but they had people like zgs spec trades stuff like that and like abyssal bludgeons i don't really know what their plan was and uh i managed to get out pretty easily now these guys were flaming me quite a bit after i made the comment about them letting me get a box they're like talking about my desk calling me like a packy and stuff like that then i just look back on this clip i bought this guy at 20 ags him at 63 and if i had gmol spec i could have actually killed him right there because i, I uh, ags him at 63 i can hit like a 40 gmol in the gear i'm in could have potentially killed him for like, I don't know, 50 to 60 mil, so that's kind of embarrassing. Either way, good fight to that team. Alright guys, I think that's where we're going to end off this video and the max set PK session until the next one. You know, we got hit by two different teams. They were kind of unorganized in what they did and made a lot of mistakes, which is probably accounted as to why I got out. Both of them used baits, but both of those baits did really badly. So if they did well, you know, they probably could have got me. Um, we're going to be welfare PKing tomorrow, and we'll sell the money that we make from today's episode and tomorrow's episode in that, and we'll see how much we get. 
The thing is, I do want to get the Arcane Spirit Shield so I can stop doing the Shield Switch. The thing is, I do want to get the Arcane Spirit Shield so I can stop doing the Shield Switch, but the Arcane right now is about 150 mil. So if I sold the Armadale Chestplate, which is 45 mil, the scale, uh, the Ancient Wyvern Shield, which is about, I think it's like, maybe 35 mil right now, and I, sh I sold the DFS, so I would get me like 90 mil. I'd still need quite a lot more money to go. So that's kind of the goal, just to make that little bit of money. Let's see how it goes. Anyway, if you did enjoy this video, hit that like button, subscribe if you are new, and I'll see you guys later. Thank you so much for watching.